Hey guys, Eamon here, back with NRL Reaction. We are on to round 21, where, geez, we're almost at the end of the season. Crazy season so far. Uh, super close still. Don't really know who's going to finish in the top uh, top four, top eight yet. So, yeah, it should be some really good games uh, down down the stretch here. Um, yeah, so round 21, we did a stream for the Broncos. Bulldogs game was a pretty solid game. Um, I had picked the Broncos to win. I thought they might might try to, try to like, uh, get back into the race. But, yeah, they kind of blew it. They uh, had a little comeback and then just, yeah, just they, the second half started and they got smoked right away. So <laughs> sucks for the Broncos. It don't, doesn't, look, doesn't look good for them unless, I, I, even if they went out, I think it's going to be tough for them to make it, right? So uh, yeah, anyways, yeah, so we're going to be reacting to the rest of the games. Um, I am going to also react to two of the NRLW games. Um, I, got, I had a couple comments saying it was a couple good games, so I'm going to see the highlights for those. I'll put those at the end. Um, and then yeah, we'll, we'll at the end of the video we'll take a look at the schedule for next week and figure out which game we're gonna do a uh, watch party for. Uh, should be good. Yeah, let's just hop into it. Uh, and yeah, if you're not subbed, make sure make sure to sub. I uh, like the video, comment. Uh, I think we're we're just about we're like 150 away from 3,000, so that'd be sick to get to before the end uh, the season, end of the end of the regular season. Um, yeah, let's just hop into it. Okay, so first up we have Warriors Tigers. Um, I think I did see the score of this one. Unfortunately, I believe I got it correct. It was uh, I, had, I had Warriors winning by twenty four as my pick. Um, I'm, I don't think they won by twenty four, but I'm pretty sure they won. But yeah, let's just let's just up on the highlights here. See what happened. We're underway. Week twenty one action starts and with the first. All right. Adam yeah. Very curious to see if the Warriors can try to sneak into the top eight. Probably unlikely, but they've been doing better. There you go. Good start. Yeah, like, I don't, like, yeah, the odds probably aren't great for them making it, but they, I mean, it's possible. They've been, they've been doing a lot better. Oh, what a pass. That was crazy. Crazy movement. That's yeah, the, that last pass there. That was nice. They're all nice, but that one was sick. All right, one more for the half. Looks like they missed both conversions. Okay, Martin, nice. Martin's been really good. Yeah, you got it. Coming to the left, Fainu. Six more, ten meters. Good meters. Another set restart for the Tigers. Are going to get a score here? Let's see. There you go. <laughs> try July. Let's go. That was a good one. I love that that try July idea. I almost want to like. I don't even know how, if there's a way to contact the NHL, but it'd be really cool if the NHL added something like that to add some personality because celebrations are very um, conservative in hockey. Usually, there's like not a ton of personality in, in the sport, so that'd be really cool to add that in. Yes, look at that. That's a try there for the West Tigers. Yeah, I'll just feel like we're winning them there. Yep. They're all over. Yep. See, he lets the ball go here. There's a light contact on him. The crowd are not happy. Oh, yeah, late contact on Martin. Yeah. Yeah, that happened to uh, Cherry Evans, didn't it? Yeah. Taking the two. Nice. Okay. 16 10. We got 10 minutes left. There you go, Warriors. Okay. Blake. <laughs> he runs a nice strong line there. Really hard to stop close to the line like this. And he does what he's nice. always done and has been doing tonight. Is running. All right, what's that? Big meters off the back of Adam Fennel Blake. Now they go again. 2210. Little kick pass. Oh, no. They grabbed it. Two of us a shake. Oh man, he's just flying. Nice. Two of us a shake, I like a lot. Whenever I watch him, he always makes stuff happen. Yeah, 
And this guy to uh, DWZ, DWZ. Jeez. DWZ, let's go. Up the Waz. Up the Waz. Man, it looks like the crowd's such a vibe there in, in New Zealand. Oh, what was, that was a brutal pass. Good off good off -load. Nice. There you go, Tigers. <laughs> I'm so curious to see how the Tigers are next year with with Luai. They're, they're probably going to be bad, but it'd be it'll be interesting. All right. What was that? Twenty eight Warriors by twelve. Okay, I had by twenty four, so closer than I thought it'd be. But there you go, Warriors Tigers. Uh, let's look at the comments. Yeah, I, I've been asking you guys if you like the comments, me reading the comments at the end of the videos, and I think most of you guys have said like, yeah, it's 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 interesting. So we'll do that. Um. Love this commentator, the NZ version of Rabs. Um, poor, poor Cor Corso. I bet if he had, if if he could have his time over again, he would choose any other team. Bar the Tigers, his career killing. <laughs> what a comeback for the Warriors ever since the last game. But if they want to spawn the top eight, they really need to win all five games coming up. And as a Warriors supporter, Waz, keep up the faith. Yeah, the Warriors can only win at home, while the Tigers can't win. Period. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Yeah, the Warriors are one of those teams. Like, there's so many teams that are like really tight in the standings around the around the eight, eight through like fourteen, I think eight through thirteen. That it's just one of those teams is gonna win. All, it's gonna win all their games and make it. That's basically what it's gonna come down to. All right, so we got Eel Storm up next. This one I did see this the exact score of this one. It was ex I, I my pick was Storm by eighteen, and it was Storm by eighteen. So that is awesome. Great start for my picks. So I'll be two and zero with a perfect margin for the Storm game. So yeah. This is, I mean, this is a pretty easy, easy one to pick. Like, the Storm are really good. The Eels aren't so good. So, 18 made sense. But yeah, let's see what happens. See if there's any sick highlights in it. The competition leaders in full flight in 2024. Yeah, yeah Storm are pretty well on their way to winning the minor premiership. Can't get away from Katsola down low. Hughes and Pappenhausen in there. They go down the short side. He's gonna score first. You get it? Yeah. Nice, okay. Eels scored right off the rip, interesting. Oh, now they're getting another one? No way. Oh, no. They messed up. Hughes. They've got the space. Yeah, there's Pompanozen. Oh, he's flying. Yeah, he's. Oh, is he. Some juice. Yeah, he's 1v3 right now. Oh, he's still going. Get up, get up. Nice, there you go. Okay. He just punched her in the face. <laughs> right, let's see. They got numbers, yeah. Oh, almost dropped it. Nice, what a pass. There you go. Crazy. That guy remotely looks like Antoine Dupont. Anderson. <laughs> if he had long hair and a... And a mustache or a beard. Geez, the Eels. Okay, so the Eels got two tries in the first 20. Interesting. What about this Attacking that light man back? What about this catch here? Oh, that was sick. One handed. Made that look so easy. <laughs> was run there from Penasini. We're ready. Passing before the line. They go from one side of the field to the other. Oh, bobbled that. There's Grant. Okay, yeah, you can't you can't make a error like that, Eels. So that's not good. Yeah. Oh, what a pass! That was a wild pass. He like faked to the guy behind him, to the guy a bit further over. And so, so sick. Nope. What happened there? Penalty. Sinbin. Yeah. Was it offside? What was the? Let me let me rewind. This so I see exactly what happened there and why it was called. Is it interference by two? Yeah. Yeah, number two. Okay. He like interfered with the restart when he was one of the two guys that's supposed to be out of the play. And 
Yeah, there are the numbers. Three on three on two, four on two. Poppy to Hughes. Oh, what a dude. Poppy has it. What a play. That's crazy. He, he knew. He knew to leave it. That was, that was super high IQ there. Awesome stuff. Don't tell me they go all the way or down. Don't tell me. Oh, no. The Eels. The Eels. Oh, what a play. What a play by the Eels. <laughs> Just stuffed him. Oh, what a pass. Jeez, where's dude? Just dismantling them. Beautiful to watch. He's always moving his feet like Harry Grant in the first half. He's just pushing through the middle. But beautiful ball playing by Jerome Hughes. Everyone does their job. Ali Katoa finds himself in the space. Nice, yeah. And then Wishart, he's the beneficiary. <laughs> Munster drifting, looking for a runner. Geez, yeah, they're, they're just finding holes everywhere in the defense. <laughs> yeah, just way higher level of play. But, oh, there's one for the... Ooh, that was... What was, what was the storm doing there? They, they fell asleep there. All right, that saves my... I guess that's how I got the margin correct by this weird play there. And the town there of Sick flick though by Theos. All right. The Melbourne Storm flexing their muscles and all right. So Storm by eighteen. I nailed that margin. That is awesome to see for me. I've been struggling in my tipping lately, so that's big right there. Um, Three twenty-four. The most blade to forward passes. Let's see this. Use. Let's see that again. Was that a forward pass? Uh, hmm. Does the does the pass have to be like hmm? Is it a like I actually don't know the actual definition of a forward pass. I, I always assumed like if if the ball as long as the ball was going like di like sideways, it wasn't a forward pass, but what if, what if you throw it sideways or even but like backwards, but the player like reaches back and grabs it from in front of where the ball is? Would that be a forward pass? I'm not actually sure. Let me know in the rule on that. That's one of those little details that I don't really never uh, learn about, I don't think. But yeah, let me let me know if that's the case. I guess I'll read the comments here though. Um Yeah, lots of lots of people just talking about how it's common for the storm, I guess. Um even on Melbourne's worst day, they still play better than half the comp. Yeah. yeah a, f a few comments saying that was a forward pass, it looks like. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next game was the Broncos-Bulldogs match, which I did, a, I did a watch pretty for that. So you can find my, my full reaction to the game in my live stream tab or in my in the description. I'll link it in there. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was, what was it? It was like the Bulldogs took a huge lead early, and then the Broncos like brought it back right before the half. And everyone, everyone in our in in the stream, uh, I, I put a poll up, and everyone thought the Broncos were going to win that game after coming back. And then, like immediately, like a minute into the second half, the Bulldogs just scored immediately, and it was pretty much over. Um, we saw Walsh. Walsh was getting pretty upset with a few players in the Bulldogs. I think um, he's probably just yeah, he's obviously frustrated because it's been a weird season for him with his injuries and stuff. Yeah, let's look at the comments. Uh, forget what you see in Paris. I want to be in Brisbane. Which. What's this, 230? <laughs> Great commentary. Burden pretending the scores are level at the end of the game and popping over another field goal. <laughs> One of my buddies said yesterday, Broncos back to full strength. <laughs> Everyone's saying Broncos will be grand final hopefuls this year. Yeah. <laughs> another Reese Walsh masterclass scores one. Let's in seven. The sooner they realize Walsh isn't a fullback, the better. Yeah, interesting. Okay. All right. Yeah, lots of people just talking about Walsh not being as good as people say, I guess, or one-dimensional. Um, interesting. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. 
and you know, obviously, yeah, people people were helping people were helping up the Broncos a lot when I first started watching the NRL, saying they were going to be a team to look out for. But um, yeah, they've kind of they were doing well to start, but they just kind of fell apart. And it looks like they're pretty much even if they win all, even if they win all their games, they're still not a lock. So probably unlikely this year. But I'm sure they'll be. I'm sure they'll be back uh, next year. Um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, my pick, my, my pick was Broncos by six. Obviously, the Bulldogs won by like what was the final score? Yeah, like forty to sixteen. So was it twenty four? Yeah, Broncos or Bulldogs by twenty four. Yeah, so I'm two for three now. All right, so we got Cowboys Sharks up is the third match of the of the round. Um, what did I have here? Or the fourth match of the round? Sorry, Edge Sharks by four was my pick. We will see what happens here. I believe, yeah, it's it's a Cowboys home game, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I forget why I picked the Sharks, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm rooting for the Sharks. I, I like. I like when the Sharks win. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Cowboys, though, seems seem. I guess I did. I did kind of break that curse last week. I think, but um, usually when I pick against the Cowboys, they win, and when I pick the Cowboys, they lose. So we'll see what happens. And Hines is still out, right? Pretty sure Hines is still out. So we're underway. The Sharks will get first use of it. The Trindle in the seven jersey who makes the catch. A shift to the left hand side potentially. Robson goes that way. Here is Dean. All right, early try. Oh, what a pass. Yeah. An early try for the for the Cowboys. Holmes. From a hamstring strain, it was quick to go to the left hand side. A good tackle made by McIntyre. All right, Sharks in condition. Nice, nice. There you go. Very similar try. Exact same spot. <laughs> try July. <laughs> Liam Ison on debut, 19-year-old. Okay, interesting. Drink water, melee. Okay, lots of offense this game. No, excuse me, guys. Sorry for the yawning. Jeez. Oh, what a kick. Oh, the bounce. Unfortunate bounce. There you go, Sharks. A few, few Sharks are hurt, it looks like. Didn't even see what happened there. Is there a penalty? Oh, yeah, late tackle. Late tackle. Sinbin, damn. Blake Braley. Sharks down to 12. The Cowboys take the option here to push this out to an eight All point right. lead. Eight points up. Ooh, 40 20. Trindle. Kick from inside the, the bounce. He has oh. the angle. He gets a big result. Jeez. Let's go. It's a runaway bay. They've lost their way here, though. Trindle, the first receiver, watch the ball. All right, yeah, Sharks need to get a score here. Oh, we... Oh, okay, almost a knock-on. Oh, this guy's... Oh, what, a, what an awful pass pass. Wow, what a try. There you go, Sharks. That was that was really chaotic but awesome. Nice. Oh, no, the Cowboys, they can't score again, no. Oh, big tackle there. You gotta stop him, Sharks. Uh. Damn, there he goes, the momentum. Oh, don't tell me they get, me in, not in, they get another winner for the half? No way. Townsend. No way. What was that? I think he pulls Ison out of the way. Try no try. Rubber the ball dead has an air swing and felt grabs. What happened? Ison. Oh, I guess they're saying the guy, the Cowboys guy, grabbed that guy slightly. Oh, what a catch! <laughs> Holy! Oh my God! No way! No way! There's no way. Okay, jeez. That would have been like the try of the year. Holy! All right, Sharks, come on. No, he's playing soccer. No way. Did he get that? 
That's crazy. He was dribbling. He dribbled himself in. That's crazy. Wow. Okay, that was awesome. Man. Jeez. Not looking good for the Sharks. Cowboys just keep scoring right after. Yeah. Oh, they both went for the same. Oh, jeez. That was a huge hit at the end. <laughs> yeah, this guy loves rubbing it in the faces of the, uh, the opposing team. <laughs> gotcha, yeah, they're getting into it now. Oh, it was in the face of the 19. Okay, that's a little disrespectful. A little bit disrespectful, man. Oh, there you go. Not much time, but... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that was by eight. Damn, man, I'm like... Ugh. Yeah, it's a huge win for the Cowboys. Man, the Sharks. The Sharks, guys, come on. You gotta, you gotta start winning some games. Alright, comments. Cowboys finally figured out a pass right. Why was Felt giving it to a lar giving it large to a 19 on debut for the last try there? Yeah. <laughs> You're playing with the big boys now. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Like it is like a welcome to the league thing, and the guy did try to hit him pretty hard, I believe. That that was that play, right? He like ran him pretty hard. But um yeah, like in hockey at least. In hockey, you're not supposed to be a dick to the to the, to the young guys. It's like a, it's like part of like the code of the sport. You just don't you just don't like, yeah, you don't be a dick to them. Basically, uh, drink water. Such a quality player. Yeah, shark soup. Love the celebration. The faces the taste of their own medicine. Cowboys have beaten seven of the top eight. Interesting. Okay, this is the part of the season where I transitioned from a Broncos supporter to a Cowboys supporter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sharks have been the biggest percentage for years. I wonder if Sharks fans still laugh at Storm for keeping Pops and not Hines. Interesting. Okay, I did not know about that. So they had Poppinaz and Ann Hines, and they chose Poppinaz and over Hines. Interesting. Okay. All right. So we are now on Roosters C Eagles. This one, this game, I heard it was very good. Um, a couple of people mentioned I, sh I should have watched it, but yeah, I didn't end up watching it. Um, but yeah, obviously two two really quality teams. Seagulls are a team. I think I was saying that I, I think they're the best of the. Or I didn't, did I say they're the best? I think they're the like the, these two teams are the two best outside of like the Storm and the Panthers, right? They're like right there. Um, I think I had, what I had Roosters by two. Yeah, I went Roosters by two, but I wouldn't be shocked if the Seagulls won at all because the Seagulls, yeah, they've. Quality. They have the two origin captains, which is must be massive for like the culture of the team and stuff. Um, yeah, so it should be, should be a really good game. Uh, yeah, let's just see what happens. Here we go. Roosters and Manly, winner in the top four, loser on the outside looking in, and it's Josh Alloy. All they have, Alloy Hay hitting it up in the yeah. Roosters pressing. Feeding it onto the desk is another. Oh, what a run! Oh man, get the offload, offload. Nice. Swalihi. Crazy. There's just so many quality players on both of these teams, it's crazy. Man, they're just flying through. No way. Jeez, Tedesco, yeah. Jeez, man. Two early tries. 12 zip off the rip. All right. Well, I heard this is a good game, so I'm assuming the Eagles are going to come back here, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, man. Their movement's crazy. Oh, geez, okay. That should be should be 18 nothing here. 15 minutes in? Dude, okay, the Eagles are going to come back then. Dude, don't tell me to get another one. Oh my god. Swally he to, to Young. Yeah, to Young here. Oh, he dropped. Oh, and he... Oh my god. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's... Dom Young basically passed it to himself there. Okay, so 22 nothing, 20 minutes in is crazy. 
No, that was too easy. That was too easy. Let me rewind this a tiny bit. Is this guy... This guy smiling? Is this guy Roosters, uh, a Seagulls fan? <laughs> I'd look at okay, you smiling a bit. He might be. Might be a little Seagulls fan working the sidelines there. Alright, so yeah, I'm assuming the Seagulls are going to make this really close then. If it, people are saying this is a good game. Let's see. Oh man. Crazy. Dude. Okay, is it like 28 to 6 after the first? Crazy. No, Seagulls can get one right to the last. There you go, Seagulls. That's huge for momentum. Huge momentum. In your local park. <laughs> yeah, he just snuck in there. Should be a 20 12. Alright, second half. Ooh, big tackle. Oh, what a steal! What a steal! No way! That's... Let's go. He's got it. Yeah, he's got. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, he's now. He's there. He's there. Jeez, man. Okay. Crazy. Two strips by the Seagulls in the first five minutes here. Got it back. 28-18. Oh, what a pass! No way. Forward pass. Let's see, let's see. Okay, it didn't count. Okay, it was, it was a forward pass. Interesting. Dom Young. Oh man, Dom Young's just a freak. Look at that. Look at how much faster he went. They got numbers. Yeah, Tedesco. Yeah. Huge run by Young. Big kick. Nice. Jeez. Okay. That was crazy. 34-18. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Brutal. All right. 34-26 if they hit the conversion. There's time. There's time here. Oh no, he missed this ticket version. Okay, 34-24. Dude, another one! No way! He's got that. Yeah, Cherry Evans is like the leader in interceptions, right? This is crazy. Okay, so 34-30 if they get the conversion. This is crazy. Oh, they didn't okay, they couldn't they didn't uh Sheesh man. Crazy game. Yeah, so I had Roosters by two, so it was Roosters by four. Awesome. Okay, a great pick for me then there. Um, yeah, look, look at the standing city. Yeah, Melbourne, uh, Penrith, Sydney, Sharks, Cowboys. Or not, no, Bulldogs, Cowboys, yeah. Yes, yeah, so the Roosters. Roosters are just, or I guess they played two more games than Penrith. Yeah, the Roosters are looking to secure top four. That was a crazy game, yeah. That was the, like, I guess the Roosters... Like are so deadly offensively, I guess that maybe, that do they, maybe they pass too much at times. I don't know. I, I know I've, I've said a few times. Every time I watch the Roosters, their passes are crazy. They move it like they move it like a ton, like really fast. So I guess Manly maybe took advantage of that. Maybe they saw something in their uh, in their scouting of the of their strats and stuff. Maybe because they yeah they had what was it like four or five like interceptions there that, that like resulted in tries pretty much. That was yeah that was wild. I definitely wish I watched that one live. That would have been wild to watch. Uh, let's check out the comments. Got all of the energy from the commentary. That goodbye cracks me every time. Yeah, yeah, the commentary is... I, honestly, it's, it's hard for me to tell the difference between commentators, but I enjoy most of them. I haven't really heard a commentary yet that I haven't liked, but um, can't believe Manly almost came back. Rooster giving Manly 300 sub tries. Absolute heart attack will take the win. Curie set up two tries for Manly. <laughs> Roosters got lucky because Manly lost five of its first backline players to injury and failed HAA. Their forwards are playing center winger. Interesting. Okay, I didn't know about that. That kind of makes sense why it was so easy for the Roosters to start. And then I guess, I guess you could just say the Roosters, like, 
they thought the game was over kind of so they started like not taking it as seriously maybe and that allowed the manly to like capitalize but yeah anyways let us move on panthers versus dragons i had panthers by 12 for this one i yeah the panthers they're like everyone's back from origin clary's second game back um the stadium is awesome is that the ocean in the background that is awesome um yeah i'm expecting a blowout here for for the panthers don't think it'll be too uh too close they're trying to chase down the storm for uh for the uh the, the minor premiership so yeah let's hop it up it's windy in wollongong will it be wild as your sunday ticket starts on fox league the kickoff high and taken by brian toto toto kenny yo cleary quick hands for mclean who darts back on the Jeez. inside casey mclean <laughs> goes in for his first he looks pretty young. Yeah. First try. See another another uh, young future star that the Panthers uh, kind of is going to develop as as usual. It seems. <laughs> oh no way! Cleary. Oh, what a tackle! He's still going. Man, it's hard to see in the stadium with the, the shadows crazy. Little tracks him down. Good speed from the Dragons hooker. Yo passing for Cleary on the outside. It's Liam Martin. The Dragons. That was a crazy pass. Liam Martin, let's go. From the Panthers best was brilliant. Cleary for Martin. I I loved Martin in Origin. He was awesome. Possession continues with Penrith as they flood the short side. Laurie gets away. Cleary. Cleary. He runs away. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So this is going to be a blowout. How big? Oh, who's hurt there? Who's hurt there? They are shooting the right way today. Someone looked pretty badly injured in the background there. Well, you just can't rest anywhere on the field against the Yeah, right. There's like three guys. Is he knocked out? Final play now. What happened here? Is that number who is that number one? And yeah, Martin's looking after him, and this guy I think is also looking after him. And the Panthers yeah, is that one? One or I don't even know. Let me know what happened to him though. Have a third. They are shooting the right way today. What the happened though? I, I, you couldn't see what happened there at all. All of a sudden there was a guy on the ground. Interesting, okay. Cleary has it. Goes through the hand. Jeez, Cleary's just a crazy little spin around. Crazy. Yeah. Now, are the Dragon's going to score. He got it. No, so he got stripped. Oh, no, he's celebrating. Let's see. Taruva tries to make the tackle. Let's see if he gets it down. Oh, he, he got it. Yeah, that was great control. Great control. Penrith, Cleary at the center of it with a try assist and two of his own. Ooh. Lomax. Oh, what a dude, what a pass. That was Luai, right? Luai, yeah. Crazy. Through Scotty Sorensen. And a quick play the ball. Watch this for Handley. Sharp pass straight away to Sorensen. A little bit of footwork at the line. Lots of bouncing around on feet. Lots of side to side. Where's the punch coming from? The grubber. Ben. Uh oh. And now a flare up. Ben a little bit of a fight. A little bit of a fight. Martin's going to get in there, of course. Oh, he dropped it. Did he get it? Oh, yeah, he lost it. Yeah, he lost it. Oh, jeez. That was a filthy dummy. 
tackle. Now Cleary, his kick is through the line. Damn, what a play. Cleary's just, yeah, oh man, he's so good. He went like, he had it like this and then pulled it back. That was nasty. Luai to Cleary. Jeez, that's so unfair, man. How do you have Cleary and Luai? <laughs> that's crazy. Cleary with the hat trick. Isn't it pretty uncommon for sevens to even like score too many tries? I feel like they're more of tries to guys, right? He has a hat trick, which is pretty crazy. Oh, got an injury there. Oh, yeah, his, his, his ankle. That his ankle looks brutally. Yeah. The Conductor is his nickname. <laughs> crazy. All right, let's look at the comments. Oh, uh, yeah, what was that, like 46 to 10, they said? 36? Okay, yeah, um, yeah I'd pass by 12. I should, I should have picked a blowout, a bit more of a blowout. I'm pretty conservative with my picks at times, I think, but um, I don't know if that made a difference to the Panthers giving out another hiding, but the last pass on the third try is so far forward. Okay. Nathan feeling fresh fit and firing. Him missing origin was a blessing in disguise for us. Panthers on fire, definitely general potential for the Premiership. Four Pete, here we come, question mark. Chloe with the 111 points on fantasy. <laughs> Dragons were in it right up to the kickoff. <laughs> yeah, lots of people saying, yeah, going for the going for the fourth round should be. Yeah, they definitely look nasty. Their, their team is just stacked. They gotta be. I think I think Yeah. I think they'll they'll make they'll make the finals for sure. Or like the grand final. I don't know who the other team's gonna win. I don't know if they'll actually win the grand final, but they're gonna be in the finals. There's no way they're not in the finals. They're just too good. So we got Dolphins by eight is my pick for this one. Dolphins Titans. Yeah, I'd assume you know the Titans usually get smoked, I feel like, in lots of the games. Dolphins are trying to make it in the finals, so expect them to come out strong in at home here. Uh, let's see what happens though. Kick off on a, on a sunny Sunday afternoon. It's super bright out. Enjoy Holy Sunday and they got the lights on too. Looks like. Our third game of the day after a NRLW double header. Here goes Kafusi almost. Kafusi. Quick play the ball. Tabu Fido. It is the last. Links up with Katoa. He puts in a kick. Limuelu chasing out. Oh. oh. Wow. What a, what a grab and a try. Right place, <laughs> right time for Pangai Jr. And the Dolphins strike first. Yeah, that came from nothing. It's, it's a bit freaky, this one. Dramas with him knocking this ball forward to Vita, Patty. Unless it's hit a Titans play. It. No. No, that's, yeah, that's, that's okay. fine. Boren with the tackle. The toe up. Look to go long. Went short. Won't he love this one? He's all right. There you go. Early two try lead. The veteran doesn't get too many. He'll celebrate that. A, that was poor defense. That's a really bad miss. You know, you've just got to. Lean forward, set your feet, lean yeah, forward, well, and they run into you. Yeah, the, co the, the commentators are kind of roasting the D there. That guy looks huge, though. <laughs> Randall. But I'll trust them. I'll trust them. Jeez. Okay, interesting, interesting. That might be a big play for the Titans. Good pass. Oh! Oh! I thought that guy was going to get smoked. Here, Titans. Don't have the numbers. Ooh, big bump. Oh, Sinbin? What for? Oh. What was the Sinbin for? I didn't see. Okay. Ooh, good pass. With the numbers, though, obviously. Yeah. Alright, 14 4. Right at the end of the first half. Good try. Got the half? Okay. 14 6, they got the conversion. Okay. Oh, crazy grab. Needs the bounce. Oh, perfect bounce. Oh, no. Never mind. I thought it bounced right to him, but it bounced more to the middle. Oh, the hammer. Let's go. Good tackle. Oh, I didn't see the half. Okay, that, that was the half there. Okay, there we go. Titans, Titans. Don't knock it on. Nice, nice. Nice. There you go, Titans. 
38 tries in 38 games. That's wild. For a bad team, too. That's crazy. There we go. Jeez, okay, the Titans. The Titans. Crazy player. Okay. Oh, off the post right to him. <laughs> Jeez, the Dolphins. Okay, the Dolphins can't afford to lose this. Holy. Great play by Randall. He went right off the post there right to him. Crazy. All right, nine minutes left for the Dolphins to do something here. No way. Jeez, throws that guy away. Offload. Jeez. Nice, gets to the point. Okay, that secures the. Uh, yeah. It's a two, it's a two. Okay, yeah, jeez, Titans. Okay, the Dolphins, Dolphins, you can't, they can't lose games like that. That's crazy. All right, yeah, I had Dolphins by eight, so I got that one wrong too, damn. Damn, another another not great week for me. Or I'm mean, I'm doing decent in the in the tips, but like I need to do better to get to get closer to first. Um mates thought I was mad for tipping the Titans. Um you can tell Wayne Bennett doesn't pay much attention to this team anymore. Not because he's a great coach anymore, but because the Dolphins team doesn't have what it takes to win when the other team punches back. Coaches shouldn't sign with that team till the season ends. Swords up, a lot of banter in the crowd and lots of fans leaving the Titans sport louder than Dolphins. Up the Titans. Come on, Gold, tight, gold Coast. Outstanding turnover for Titans. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like the Titans. They've been like, yeah, they were they were in like a in the, like a wooden spoon contender for a while this season, but they've started winning like more consistently. So that's good good signs for them next year. Um do they have any like big signings? Um yeah, let me know, let me know if they have like a bunch of guys announced this signing next year because they they seem to have a lot of good players. Just they're just not quite there yet. But um, yeah, interesting to see how they do in the future. Because yeah, I can't, I can't help but cheer for them whenever I watch them. Even even if I don't tip them, I feel like I like watching them a lot, and, and their uniforms are awesome. Um, yeah. Anyways, okay, let's get into our, our last one here. We got the Raiders Rabbitos. Um, this one I yeah I took Rabbitos by eight. I know the Rabbitos have some injuries, including Mitchell, who's like one of their better guys but um yeah i think the rabbitos i mean i don't think but i'm hoping the rabbitos can be one of those teams that goes on a miracle run here and uh sneaks in but we'll see how it goes so they gotta win this stuff for sure if they lose this it's over sunday night last game underway south city first use of the ball can they keep their charge going tackled 39 away from the line stuffling goes short side for young straight through the tackle of walker hudson oh, young what a all right early try for the raiders holy high kick jeez all right okay not a good start for the rapids here at all Xavier Savage. Oh, injury for two here. That's not good. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah. The commentator said Achilles. Yeah, that's an Achilles tear. Fuck. I don't want to look. Uh, oh, he socks on. You can't see it anyways. Okay. Uh, that's brutal. Yeah. See you in like a year, buddy. Holy, that sucks. Yeah, the, the Achilles injuries are super. Feel like they're super common lately. I've been seeing them a ton, and they're just like you can like see the thing snap when you when they do it in slow motion. Not so much when they have socks on, but if, if you if you don't have like socks on, you can just see it. It's brutal. Jeez, Savage just threw that guy. Oh, living up to his surname. 
<laughs> yeah, okay, Raiders are up 18 nothing. Harris is, yeah, the Rabbis are toast here. Oh, there we go. As I say, they're toast. They scored them for the half. Nice play. Oh, what a kick. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, that was a wild sequence. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see a knock on there. Okay. Good offload. Nice. Well, that was right in the half. That was very okay. Interesting. 24 10 if they, uh, 24-10 if they get the conversion here. That's that's doable. 14 points back. You can come back from that. Yeah, missed the conversion. Okay. Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, that's game. That's game. All right, big win for the Raiders if, if this holds. They're one of those teams that's in the pack there that just has to... One of them is going to win out and make it in, I think, right? So... You never know. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Jeez. Offside. Oh, that's that's out of play, right? And he dropped it. Jeez. All right. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much the end of the of the Rabbos, I think. They're, they were a nice story for a few weeks here, but oh. <laughs> they sin bin him at the buzzer. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> commentator's talking about a flop. That's funny. All right. Raiders by 20. Let's see the comments here. Love the ref giving a sim at the 80th minute. 10 men's been at full time due to heal us. South fencing, congrats to the Raiders. Better team one for sure. Best of luck for the rest of the season. Hope AJ is okay. Has a quick recovery. Yeah, I mean, that's not going to be a quick recovery, but hope hopefully it's as quick as it can be. Um, Ricky Stewart's put together a very good team. Certainly going to have to give the eight a real go this year. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so should I do the NRLW first here, or uh, no? We'll, we'll look at the we'll look at the draw for now, the standings and the draw, and then we'll go to the NRLW uh, matches them to react to. But yeah, so let's take a look at the standings here. We got the Storm. Yeah, the Storm should have the. It'll be interesting. There is a Panthers Storm game coming up in a couple of weeks that we're gonna we're gonna watch most likely. So that that that'll be interesting if if like. Yeah, because that if like the Panthers win, right, they'll be down by two only. So it'll be it'll be like yeah, there'll be a case there. Um, yeah, and then the Roosters, Roosters do have a bye coming up, so they technically have um uh, thirty points, right? That's how it works. So they're right there. Um, and then the Sharks, yeah, I don't, I feel like the Sharks are probably gonna, they've been struggling. They're probably gonna drop a bit. Um, I think the teams I have would have as locks right now are. Actually, yeah, the Cowboys and Seagulls both have buys left. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what's going to shake out. I think Storm Panthers, Roosters, Seagulls, Bulldogs, Cowboys is probably how, how I'd rank it right now. And then Sharks. I, I'd almost put Sharks in the group with like these teams, with, like Dolphins. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Who's going to... Man, this is going to be so tough to see. Warriors do have a buy still. Okay, so they're like more like... yeah. They're, but Warriors are right in there. I really hope the Warriors can make it. Let me actually look at the Warriors. Um, let me see what the Warriors draw looks like the rest of the season. If they, if they have a lot of tough matches or not. Um, Eels should have won that. Dolphins is a huge game for them. They got to win this to get in there. 
Uh, the seagulls and the okay, Jesus. Okay, Ugh. seagulls. Well, okay, the, the warriors are probably that's going to be really hard to, to to make it with playing. They're playing a really good team down the stretch. All right, so the warriors are probably not going to make it just based off that. Um, yeah. So who is going to? Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know who's going to. I guess it should just be these these eight teams are going to be in there. Let's move around position because like. I've looked at the, the point differential a lot, and like, yeah, the point differential for these teams is pretty poor. That doesn't really, like, it doesn't really matter, I guess, if the team gets caught way better at well, after they put out a lot, they're, they're a bad differential, but it's probably a safe bet that these are the eight teams, it just the seeding is just all that's up for grabs, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, yeah, let's look at the draw for next week, pick out a game. There are a few teams I haven't reacted to yet that I've been trying to get to. But some of the matches that they have that I'm able to watch or just don't really make sense. So we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, let us do a quick. Yeah, Tigers, Cowboys. Okay, no one watching that. Warriors, Eels, no. Dolphins, Roosters, 3 a.m. for me, probably too late. Titans, Broncos. That would be the ideal time for a match for me to watch. But yeah, that's not really worth watching, I don't think. Uh, Dragon, Storm. Eh, probably not the best. Sharks, Rabbitohs, Panthers, Knights, Bulldogs, Raiders. Um, I think Bulldogs Raiders is what we'll do off the top of my head. I think yeah, the, the Raiders are a team I haven't watched yet, I don't think. So I'll probably do this one, but I have seen the Bulldogs like three times already, but we will see. Um, let me know, I guess, anything before, like, yeah, I guess, hmm. yeah, let me know in the comments. Titans, Broncos, Storm, Dragons. Panthers, Knights, or Bulldogs, Raiders. Let me know which one you want to watch. Just uh, if you see someone comment the one that you want, just upload it in the comments, and I'll just, I'll just do whatever you guys want me to do. But I'd probably lean towards the Raiders game because I don't think I've seen the Raiders yet. So yeah, but yeah, let me know. Let me know. All right, I'm not gonna bother with the uh, with the stats. I don't think I'm not too. I can't remember what the actual season. But yeah, okay. So now for any NRLW fans. Um, I am going to try to react to like one or two matches a week of the NRLW. Um, I think I did say I was going to just do one match and then do the extended highlights of them so I can see a, like a better highlight reel. But um, I had two recommendations for matches this week that were good. So we're going to do the Knights, Roosters, and Dragons, Titans. And we're just going to do the shorter, the shorter highlights instead of the extended. But yeah, yeah. If there if there's any big NRL fans, uh, NRLW fans, join the Discord uh, so you can keep me posted on like stuff I might need to know or stuff I should watch uh, throughout the week because yeah yeah I don't have the time to watch like all the highlights for both for NRL and NRLW but I definitely want to check it out regardless to some have some info at least um anyways yeah let's get into it Knights versus Roosters I'm not sure who any of the players are um I only know the players from Origin and I don't know what teams they play for so we'll see I guess see if I recognize anyone Commence. Good luck to all the teams, and we'll have every game. Knights for Roosters. You. Live and free on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Here's the Roosters on the front foot. They're barging straight towards the line, and a try saving tackle by Davis. Now Aiken, dangerous there. Poole, that's a good tackle. Aiken, I think, was an origin, right? Aiken. Davis with a dummy. Get to the line, rolls over, the ball down. No, lost it. Lost oh. the ball as she was about to plant the ball down. We'll take it down, Newcastle. Some desperate goal line defense. Nine away from the line. They go to the left. Lovely little short ball. More good defense. This time it's the Roosters with strong goal line defense. Kelleher was there. Southwell, short to Albert Jones. Put on her back, solid defense. Poulet was in there along with Kelly. Now Higgins from Tommy Hart. Oh, she hit it? Yeah. There we go. And scores the opener. The Knights take the lead. Looks to go open. The markers chase, and then she goes over one on one. There you go. That's great play. Watch the little shimmy to the open. Isabel Kelly, she falls for it and then gets into that space. Great shot. Just idea. slams it down nice. Higgins. He's sharp in that area and gets a pass away. Nope. Great tackle. Oh, she's right there. Again, Jesse Southwell. It's been three tackles on the line. Oh, oh huge. Run. Huge Man. tackle. She's got a like, table top there. Gets away from one and gets a pass 
Oh, that is that. I thought that might be a high tackle. No. There you go. Good pass. Good try. Rhodes. It was Rhodes in, in um, Origin as well. The few names I'm recognizing. I know a lot of people have. Um, there's a lot of NRL guys that have sisters that play too in this, and vice versa. So there's a few names I definitely recognize from from that. Strange? Is, it, is there any relation? Any relation to Xavier Strange? Or, yeah. Is it Xavier Strange or Xavier Savage? I forget. One of the two. We have the official crowd number for tonight. It's 3,921. Mostly, it feels like you are here. 3,921 tenants. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Oh. Absolutely, as the kick is regathered back to Aiken. There you go. Aiken, oh, what a pass. There you go. There you go, Roosters. Spectacular try from the Roosters. Mm -hmm. It's game on with just over 11 minutes remaining. The try colors finally <laughs> score. Try July, there you go. More try July celebrations. Yeah. The Roosters on the board. Comes off some broken play through midfield. And this is just a really great kick. Yeah, yeah Aiken was definitely one of the... She's one of the top players, right? I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly from Origin. I don't know which side she plays for, but... Slow contact on the knee. She got up and played it. Aiken kicking for... Oh, big tackle. Strange. Hit the deck and then bang, what a chase. And the Knights have gone. Ooh, dude, another huge tackle. We've seen some hits tonight. That's one of the best from Nasio. 29 away from the Roosters line. Roach with options. Goes to Clyde Stale. Nice footwork. Ian gets a pass away. Back to a 5 8 Can get Oh, penalty. High contact. What do you do? Alright. Nice, good penalty. 12 6. Oh, yeah, 70 minute. I thought it was 70 minute games. Okay. Need to try here. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> they got better celebrations than the guys do. Alright. Kick to tie it. Don't miss it. Come on. Oh. God damn. That's hard. And that will be full time. The Knights hold on for a two point. Tough victory. kick. Tons of pressure on you. We don't seem very excited about that win there. <laughs> she doesn't she's like stone faced. Alright, so yeah, that was nice research. Let's check out the comments. Uh great trust and defense, great hits. Women's rugby league getting better every year. Great game. Skill level though. Mighty game, sister knights, D relentless. What is this? I see they love tackles, but no arms here and celebrate it. Right. Now, like the guys, don't play the ball properly, pass forward, go all out. I'm confused by this comment. Let me know what they mean there. All right. Yeah, so that was a good game. Really good game. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure who like the best teams are in the women's side. So let me know about that. I think, is, is it the Sharks that are really good? The Sharks might be really good. I forget. Um, Yeah, there's a few players I know. Uh, What was that? What was her name? The, like she was like 22 23 in origin on the blues and she was like really good um i forget her name was it jamie jamie something i'll have to go back and look but yeah i remember she was like really good i think she's on the sharks so let me know let me know anyways i, I was also told the dragons titan game was good so let's check this out dragons titans they're in position Gold Coast to land a blow here. Lauren Brown dummying. They go to the outside and over untouched. Emily nope. Bass. First try for Gold Coast. NRLW 24. Well, the Titans have <laughs> opened up their scoring and it looked too Dunked easy there for Emily Bass. But don't underestimate the powers of Lauren Brown. I think she threw three dummies to get that ball right. Uh, Hopkins, now McGregor kicking across, looking for her winger, who had a grab at the ball, then I think she's knocked on. Yeah. Was it a knock-on? Yeah, right there. Damn. 
Yeah, that was a tough angle. Oh, what a pass. What a pass. There you go. The player over and for a second try, untouched. It's Emily Bass. Emily Bass with two tries. Try celebration there on the row. As it goes out. They need they need to teach the guys how to do some better celebrations after this. Creates the overlap for Emily Bass again, untouched over on the left hand side. Oh, jeez. Oh, she was going to get smoked there. Oh. Back of a scrum and another flare up. They've been watching Brisbane yeah. Parramatta yesterday. <laughs> uh oh. Niall Williams Guthrie having a bit of a giggle there at that. She just hopped in the middle of them there. And sending it left again. Opportunity here for the Dragons. Berry. Oh, what a dummy. Oh, what a Oh, and he threw her out. That was clutch. Great defense. Yep. Yeah, okay. Big lead for the Titans. Almost at the half. Up on the inside, and she gets that inside ball and goes over. And she's a strong runner. No, no, that, no, no, that was the second half. Oops. We've had basketball, we've had rowing. Now we're doing some deep sea fishing. And Georgia Hale has hooked a marlin called. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I I pay to see like the Panthers do that. It'd be so funny. Yes. Oh, that was a good dummy. Big offload. Offload flick. Jeez. That's the way the ball goes. Now, oh, nice. There's the hat trick. Bass with the hat trick. Today, Emily Bass. Great service on the inside again. Emily looks after the rest. A hat trick in round one for the Queensland Origin star. Oh, she's from the Origin? Okay. She's from Queensland. Oh, what a step. What? Oh, did she. Did she get that? I thought she might have dropped that. That was sick, though. Let's see. Tegan Berry. Tegan Berry. Yeah, what a step there. That was nasty. She get it? Okay, she did. I thought, I thought she might have dropped it. <laughs> yeah, that was nasty. Alright, 18-10. Titans. Alright. Yeah, those definitely were good games. There's some really good plays in that game. Um, they're not done yet. Oh, they're done. <laughs> Lauren Brown is the diamond and Teganberry is the class for the opposition. Interesting comment there. Okay. Yeah. No, those, those are two good games. Yeah. So yeah, make sure, make sure, especially in the, um, it's easiest in the discord for me. Um, if, if you guys can hop in there and let me know which, which, uh, NRLW games ended up being really good. Um, because yeah, I obviously can't like, if I go and look up the scores, then it's like spoiling myself. So I'd rather someone just tell me. Uh, which games are, end up good so i'm not like knowing what happened yeah so yeah hopefully discord if you're if you're a big big into nrlw and uh yeah i'll usually ask like the night before i go to record this video or like the day of maybe i'll, I'll ask um yeah 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 so that's awesome all right so yeah let's just let's just do our outro i guess jeez my hair what is going on with my hair today holy okay all right guys so that was my reaction to the nrl round 21 I mean, we'll, we'll be back round 22 with a stream. I um, I give you guys like four options, I think. Yeah, just post in the comments what you think I should do. Um, I'll try to tie them up. It'll probably be the Bulldogs Raiders game, though, because I haven't done the Raiders. Uh, I would get Raiders watch party yet. And I'm trying to make sure I watch every team at least once this season. Um, yeah, yeah, let, let me know. I'll, I'll do whatever you guys, uh, whatever you guys want. I'll, I'll try to do. Um, yeah, is there anything else I need to? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like I said, join the Discord. Uh, especially people that are into the NRLW, join in there. So I have some resources to go off of when I'm going to uh, record this video and going to react to a, a woman's uh, NRL game. And yeah, make sure to sub if you're not subbed. Make sure to sub. We're almost at three thousand subs. It'd be awesome to get there before the start of the NRL finals. Um, yeah, and then I guess yeah, I'll have my tipping video out uh, probably Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, yeah, if, if you're into the tipping stuff, make sure to join our leagues. It's been pretty fun so far. 
Um, I guess it, I guess it is kind of getting towards the end of the season, but yeah, you can still hop in there. Still fun to join. So yeah, do that for sure. And yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just wrap it up there. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. All right, see you guys.